Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, we have the new team of the season co-build to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot five, right footed, one star skimmels with a four star weak foot. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. I mean, to be honest with you, the four star weak foot's definitely a welcome inclusion on the card for sure. Definitely very, very good stuff to work with there. Uh, player traits. This card has leadership, goalkeeper, long throw, rushes out of goal and comes for crosses. So that's obviously perfect for our scenario uh, to be able to use him as the goalkeeper with sweeper keeper and comes for crosses as the actual instructions, which is what we usually put for uh, most of the formations that we end up using, right? Uh, In-game attributes. This card is going to be on a basic chemistry style just for us to kind of check him out and see how uh, he generally performs in game. Right, you can see here that on the basic chemistry style, um, we boost diving, reflexes, handling, kicking, positioning. Um, with cards like this, you know, some people give the glove because they feel like that's like the main area that you always have to improve on him, right? Because of the um, handling so that they can kind of just catch the ball in general, uh, diving being higher, positioning being higher, reflex is already really high. So that wouldn't be a horrible choice uh, to work with as well if you do end up using this card. But yeah, we try them out mostly on the basic to kind of see what's up with these guys uh, for the most part. But yeah, obviously provides you some very, very good links to work with. So can't really go wrong there because there's a lot of Borussia Dorm players that people are definitely going to want to add to their team in some way, shape, or form, right? So, um, yeah, in-game, guys, uh, we'll be trying out a lot of, you know, tactics, teams, all that good stuff, right? Um, in the 4-3-3, we'll just have him on that comes across as sweeper keeper. Uh, nothing too crazy special there. We're going to see how he kind of performs in most of the teams that I end up trying out. Goal key reviews, if I'm being serious, it takes a little bit longer, right? But we got a lot of highlights with him. So, yeah, let's go see how he plays, man. Hopefully, he was a beast. Okay, Cobo. Thank you. Ah. The way Frimpong did well there initially, though. Look, this guy is part of the crossbar gang too, boys. Did my controller uh, settings reset? I think so. Ha! It was deflected. It'd be like that. Boyfriend Pong's got me. Oh, manual defending this game is something else. Let's go, Schlotterbeck. Oh, no goal or no save there by Koba. I don't expect him to save that one for sure. Save Cobill. That was a pretty crazy shot, actually. Of course. Cobble saves me, but that should be my ball every single time, EA. Manny doing the shielding, waiting as he is for attacking support. And slipped through beautifully. Oh my goodness, Slaughterback actually came out of nowhere. Let's go. Slaughterback. What are your expectations for today? Thanks, Derek. Well, both 
managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Cobalt, thank you for the save. This game is something else sometimes, man. The manual defending is genuinely horrible. Save again, Cobalt. Guys, Delit? He's got some movie mentals, bro. Good save by Cobell there. He should be saving that to be fair, but they've got it now. What can they do? Cobell saved my life there. It's a little bit weird. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Yeah, that's all you guys know how to do. And I use manual goalkeeping in the right direction. Good stuff. Oh, it's so exhausting, man. Okay, though, Cobol's got it. Guys, Cobol's been, like, pretty, pretty saucy for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, great responsiveness. Fantastic responsiveness, EA. Fantastic. Great job, man. That's why I missed my opportunity with Diaby. That's why right there, you see? But they want you to play this game like it's a normal, it's a normal video game, though, guys. Great responsiveness, man. It took you so long to just register that command that I passed it backwards. Disgusting, man. Guys, ignore the score for the beginning. My Elgato was bugging out. Uh, right when I started the game, it froze. So I had to try to fix it. So just letting you know. You guys, we're going to do little little clips first and then go from there. So we have a situation here where our opponent starts to attack into the uh, side areas. He goes for the far post cross in this situation. And Colbill does an absolutely fantastic save for us. So we get another situation here with Colbill where... Uh, our opponent is attacking against us. He starts to utilize the side position. Harry Kane starts to make that run in behind. He goes for a diving header, and Colbell saves the opportunity yet again. After that goal-scoring opportunity from our opponent, he does the corner kick thing where people know that exact uh, placement to do right in the middle of the 18-yard box. He goes for a green time strike, and the goalie ends up saving that and collecting the ball entirely from manual goalkeeping. You have to do it really early because of that uh, corner kick tactic, right? So our opponent is just uh, passing the ball around the middle of the park. Uh, you know, just waiting for the space to open up. Typical meta stuff. Uh, nice little step over acceleration. Cobalt ends up saving that opportunity as well. After he does end up making the save, we uh, push him out right away for the manual goal team because they have that exact same spot that they uh, go for all the time, right? So this situation here, our opponent just kind of goes on the counter attack, um, utilizes the pace in behind. Middle is wide open. We push the goalie out a little bit. Then we do the drag back, right? To let him kind of go back. But we don't end up scoring that opportunity. Oh, you're such a rat. Yeah, I gotta create that small space, rat. I think he just wanted to finesse it across and it didn't work out for him. But Kobo with the save again. I'm gonna push out the goalie right away because these guys love to do that corner kick tactic. Nice and composed there with Cobill. Good save, Cobill. Nice. I like the save, my boy. I like it. Good 
and save. And push the goalkeeper out the entire way. Save the opportunity. Guys, Cobell has been good for me, man. He's actually been a very solid goalkeeper. He had a green time from that, eh? Wow, look at that. Look at Golden Mbappe still being the guy, huh? Cobell's not going to save that. I don't expect him to, to be fair. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Kobel Team of the Season card. So, again, guys, when it comes to goalkeeper reviews, uh, it's mostly to show you guys animation choices during specific moments uh, to see what the card is like whenever uh, given the opportunity. So, uh, guys, from my honest opinion, he was actually pretty good. Uh, like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, listen, this card on a basic chemistry style, I felt like he actually did a really good job for me. I actually felt like he was a very, very good goalkeeper. And I guess it kind of makes sense for him, right? Because one, the traits that the card is working with, with comes for crosses, rushes at a goal, goalkeeper, long throw, uh, leadership, I'm not really sure what it does, but those three are very, very important to work with for the type of goalkeeper that I want. So that's great by default. But the other thing that's great by default is the fact that he has the six foot five height, high and average body type that is really helpful in game. Um, I felt like he saved a lot of opportunities for me. There was a lot of situations where I probably should have conceded goals and he saved my life, right? From rushing him out of the goal, from letting him do his own thing, uh, catching the ball mid-air from a green time header, stuff like that. Like he actually did a pretty solid job for me personally, right? But like I said, every goalkeeper is always gonna feel different for everybody because everyone's gonna have their own experience. But for me personally, Playing with him, like, I don't know, it was like 25 games or so. It was like, it was a lot of games. Uh, we had like 12 on one account, 10 on another. You know what I mean? Like, we, he was just the goalkeeper to give the links to the Bundesliga players. And you know what? He did a pretty solid job for me. He's actually not bad, man. You know, for 48K, you really can't go wrong with him, especially with the links that he provides. Uh, definitely a W card for how he performed in game. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.